Hey, I'm Angela. Welcome to my free food healthy kitchen. How to chop garlic. I have been taught a number of different ways to chop garlic. I'm going to show you the classic way that I was taught and I feel like this really works out well. So I have just one large clove of garlic here and what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the heel of our knife here, of our French knife. We're going to give it a good mash and mashing it like that you can see how easy then the peel comes right off. And so I have my clove here and I'm laying it flat and I have my fingers tucked and I'm just giving it some straight slices down. Now at this point some people will insist upon removing the core. The core they believe is bitter. So if you feel like the core adds bitterness to garlic go ahead and remove it, um, go ahead and find it, and then remove it. Um, I usually don't worry about it. I don't find that it makes it, that it makes it bitter. If you want a smaller dice, you can kind of flip those strips around. You can give it another, another go. So now it's just a little bit smaller. Now, the next step to really maximize getting all the flavor possible out of that garlic that I really like to do here is to go ahead and use the back of your knife and to give that garlic a little bit of a mash. And this really extracts the oils out and the flavor. And you can see it almost starts to create kind of a paste. And a great trick that I learned in culinary classes too was to at this point you could mash salt in there or herbs or anything at that point you rub it into that garlic and it gets so much flavor now if you're if you're not going to use this garlic right away like you're going to cook but it might sit for 15 or 30 minutes that garlic's going to oxidize so to prevent that from happening you're going to want to store that garlic and just a little bit of olive oil. So you're just going to want to keep it in a little bowl and make sure it's covered with olive oil, just like this. And that is how you mince and chop garlic and store it and keep it super fresh. So it's going to have maximum flavor when you cook with it.